to the middle of the ice, and then there's two two stops that he makes before it. Uh, you know, Lind is able to actually put that puck into the net. But uh, you know, you, you can stop the first, stop the second. It's just uh, you know one too many there uh, in front of Hunter Shepard without picking up a body. And uh, you know, Lappy are able to do such a good job of feeling that pressure, understanding, hey, I can bring this guy to me and I can hit that seam. And you know, you talked about it. Ethan didn't get all of it. Uh, Pass there by Dubé. You know, Jimmy Huntington's able to tip this and he gets his own rebound. Is able to put that in the back of the net. And that's a big goal. You go in 1-1. Uh, you know, coming into the second period, that's a that's a huge goal by that line. We talked about them. They showed up here tonight. They've, they've looked really really good. Fourth goal of the playoffs, it comes with three tenths of a second left in the first. The fans heading to the concourse to get some popcorn and refreshments a little too early. Hunt Rats. Yeah, great job there by Hunter Shepard. He seals that uh, post, uh, you know, and we've seen that come off the end boards there a few different times now. Uh, and, and really just, it, it comes to the net front. It, it's such a springboard effect. Hunter Shepard, great job. Jake Massey, he's able to pick up uh, you know, Drew Shore's stick here, not allow a, a, a second chance. Oh. The fire burn and Riley Sutter having none of that. Max McCormick thinking a punch towards Sutter. Sutter did the same thing to him last game. It made the rounds on social media. I think both players are gonna get a penalty. Sutter faked him out like he was gonna slug him. McCormick wound up laughing as he didn't flinch. Uh, maybe Riley was just trying to show, show off and get under his skin. Yeah, those are two, uh, you know, two guys that play the game the right way. You know, I played against Max McCormick for a long time when he was, uh, you know, with Ottawa's organization there in Binghamton. And, uh, you know, obviously Sutsi, we've seen what he's been able to do the last uh, couple of years coming into this league. And, you know, he's, uh, he's going to be a long throw for a long time. Conversation between those two in the penalty boxes. Turn that puck around after, uh, you know, Alex Lamoche pokes that puck. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's where you start to see. Team, they're they're opportunistic. They're going to make you pay, uh, you know, if, if you're, you're going to force pucks. McElrath played it right to Hughes. Here's a look. Hicks Hughes who jumped in, two on one down low and a shot no! from long range. We're tied at two. He has the answer. His fifth goal of the playoffs. Snipes it past Trigger. Wow, what a shot, Zach. He steps over the blue line there, and he throws that over Drieger's blocker. Uh, you know, we, and we talked about it. Uh, Todd Nelson said, you know, he stepped his game up. You lose, uh, you know, those three defensemen, and you have to look to somebody. And, you know, what a goal by Hardy stepping in, you know, playing big minutes. Uh, no. Game 315 left. Hershey leads game five, three to two. Yeah, uh, that line, Zach, has just been too good tonight. You know, they make that play very similar to that second, or the first one that Jimmy scored. He goes to the net. You go to the net, the good things happen. He could very easily pull up and, and not go through. That's a heck of a goal there by those two, or those three guys on the ice. On the rush, Jimmy Huntington snaps it up and in past the glove of Chris Drieger. On the draw, right, and Sutter. Riley Sutter needs the face off win badly here. Empty net, Coachella Valley, 17.4 left. Tied up off the face off, pop free. Hughes had it stolen from him to the near boards. Firebird still with it, 12 seconds left to the corner. Tied up by McElrath, right to take it. Behind the net, Sutter takes down right. Puck comes free to the corner, five seconds left. Handle on the boards, down to three, two, and one. The Bears win game five. They're coming home, one win away from the Calder Cup. The job not done yet, but Hershey takes two in Palm Desert. They have a 3-2 series lead. And we got all sorts of mayhem behind the net as the buzzer sounds. Still going out at Hamadoktel. And McCormick, McCormick jumps Hamadoktel. You just, you want to be careful here, Zach, you know, and that goes both ways on that. You get a fight in the last, uh, you know, stoppage, uh, you know, it's a suspension. So, you know, uh, obviously it's going to, you know, come down to what they're going to say with that McCormick situation, but, uh, you know, just be careful with that one. Pile over the bench. The Bears celebrate with Hunter Shepard. 24 saves. And the fans in Palm Desert, their final game. For Dan Bilesma here, it comes up a game short of taking the lead and heading to Hershey in front. Two of three at Akershire Arena. What a job done by the Hershey Bears tonight, my goodness.